Hello everyone, Plagin here. Today we have something a little different. I know it's not the normal kind of content that I put out, um, but I'm going to show you how to um, attach a new object to a model. Uh, for example, I have this model here, and uh, I've never used Blender before, so this is a whole new process for me. Uh, I basically commissioned an artist to make this model, and uh, got it, and I was like, okay, well, what if I want to attach something else to it? For example, they forgot a little beret here or a little clip for uh, my character, but I don't have that right now. I'm just going to show you a basic thing that I just pulled from the internet quick to do this. So what we're going to do first, we're going to load in our other object. We're going to go to File, Append, and then I'm just going to go to my desktop where I have the file. It's just a graduation hat. I just found the first free object I could pull in. We select it and then go to object where it has its object files, select all of them, make sure you do that or else it's just going to pull in like one little thing. We load it in and we see that, oh geez, it's huge. So first thing we got to do is uh, resize it, move it around, make sure that we're getting it uh, to the proper size for our character here. This will probably be okay. And again, like I said, I'm pretty new to Blender, not done much with it. Uh, so we're just going to do this real quickly here. So let's just put a cap on it right there, right? Okay, so if we just do that, whatever. I know this also assumes that you have a fully rigged character here. If I go into pose mode, and if I take, for example, this box here, which is like her whole body thing, and I bring it down, you can see that the a uh, hat does not move with it, but we want it to move with it. We want the hat to stay on the head. All right, so we got it in place. What do we do now? So you select your rig, okay? And you want to go ahead and come down here to the little green stickman object, the data object data properties thing, and you want to come into the bone collections. Make sure you're in pose mode for this. Uh, I don't think it necessarily matters too much, but that's where you want to be right now. Uh, so what you want to do, by default, this DEF option is hidden. So you want to hit the little icon there to make all these green bones visible. That's the important thing, okay? After you've done that, while in pose mode, and for some of you, you might be able to go into object mode, click on the hat or the different pieces that you want to attach, and then go back into pose mode. I have no idea how to do that. So I'm just going to stay in pose mode the entire time and do this kind of a scuffed sort of way. So what we're going to do is with click shifting, we're going to go ahead and select all of the different little parts of our hat here. That's all of them. And then we're going to shift and then left click on the bone that we want to attach it to. Easy peasy. Then we hit control P to pop open this parent menu. And then just select the bone option here, right like that. It'll then parent it to that. Although it looks like I missed the rope option there. But regardless, this is just going to be how it, how it shows. And uh, yeah, so now if we select our rig, and then we select this box again, we can then drag it down and look, it moves, except for the rope that I did not attach. So that is how you do it. Uh, simply put there. Just hit Control Z to put them back there. All right, and then you'll probably want to just so you don't see the bones all the time. Come back over to here, and if I can select it, remove the DEF, uh, the default I think is what it stands for. Option there, and that's how you do it. So very short, simple video. I was just aggravated because I'd never found anything, uh, no videos on how to do this on Blender 4.0, as you can see down here in the bottom right. Everything was always 3.0 or version three or the previous versions of it. And uh, I could not figure it out because they always went to like this layer manager thing that had like all these like rows of buttons that were just kind of there and whatnot. Now, I couldn't figure that out. So I finally had to, you know, ask an artist who actually used 3.0. And I was like, hey, my guy, how do you how do you do this? And after a little bit of like figuring out why it wasn't working right, I finally figured it out because uh, he said to go to Bone Collection, which was here, or Bone Properties, but then you don't see that there, but luckily I found, I just saw this DEF just looking through a bunch of different things, and I was like, oh, 
maybe they mean this. And when I clicked it, lo and behold, you see the skeleton that previous videos that I had watched pointed out as needing. So brilliant. I hope this helps people out there who are struggling like me, especially newbies here. I really only want to use this model to uh, uh, pose and, you know, print 3D figures or maybe make some animations and stuff. But uh, this is my character, Jura. It's not for any games currently. I know previously on this channel I have talked about making games, but I am still making that first-person shooter uh, Doom-like game. It's not a 3D model game like this, but potentially I could use this for future games. I don't know. Uh, it kind of depends. But yeah. Anyway, that's the video, everyone. I, I want to wrap it up real quick because, as you can see... I was just mad about not finding a tutorial myself, so I figured I'll just frickin' make one. Hope y'all have a great day. Hope this was helpful. Bye-bye.